Before Bobby Althoff would earn herself a growing online audience thanks to short form content that focused on married life, motherhood, fashion, beauty routines, and a whole lot of comedy. Before Bobby Althoff would launch her very own podcast with guests like Rick Glassman, Funny Marco, and Drake. Wait, how the hell did she book Drake? For real. Before Bobby Althoff would have over 120,000 subscribers on YouTube, nearly 900,000 followers on Instagram, and over 4 million followers on TikTok at the time of this recording. And I'll be honest, those numbers they're probably outdated. She's blowing up everywhere. Right now, everyone wants to know just who the heck Bobby Althoff is. And that's after clips of this aspiring podcast host interviewing one of the biggest hip hop stars in the entire world. Well, they went viral and they continue to do so. Now, clips from Bobby's new series, The Really Good Podcast, they began popping up all over social media last week. And viewers were left with more questions than answers as they watched Bobby interact with Drizzy, asking some cringe inducing things while lying in bed. I mean, the two were under the covers with only a couple microphones to separate them and drizzy had himself a little drink looked like he was about to get this mother pregnant of course the biggest question of all was bobby herself just who is this awkward comedian who sprung out of nowhere to get facetime with one of the biggest celebrities on the entire planet well you're about to find out everything there is to know in our newest episode of before they're famous so stay tuned for that bobby alexandria altoff was born on july 31st 1997 somewhere in california and while there's not that much information out there right now in regards to her childhood i'll start off with this one simple truth the bobby we've gotten to know online over recent months well it's not the bobby althoff of real life i mean it's a character she inhabits because she believes that the real life version of herself well it wouldn't be nearly as popular probably like me while i talk like this when i do videos because in real life i'm more like this she said so in an interview during may of 2023 on the woman on top podcast when she was asked why she adopts a different persona on social media now her exact words Words, they were as follows because myself doesn't get views now wanting to be someone else makes sense because bobby's childhood it wasn't exactly easy now her family they were hit hard by the recession in 2008 and the bank well it was constantly threatening to take their house away now complicating matters further well bobby's parents they got divorced but because they were so strapped for cash well they continue to live out of the same house now these difficulties they made bobby want to grow up as fast as possible so much so that she even daydreamed of becoming a teen mom now thankfully it didn't take her all that long to meet her future husband. Now, Bobby, she created a TikTok account in 2020, and one of the first videos she ever uploaded was the actual proposal from her then boyfriend and now husband. I'm talking Corey Althoff. Now, Corey is the author of multiple books on computer coding, including The Self-Taught Programmer, The Definitive Guide to Programming Professionally, which I'm sure is on an e-commerce store somewhere selling like hotcakes. Now, Bobby and Corey actually met on Bumble in the late 2010s after first, well, Bobby, she was wasn't all that into Corey, believing that his dating profile, it looked more like something you'd find on LinkedIn. But after messaging back and forth with him for a little bit, well, she eventually decided to give him a shot. And a year later, well, they'd be engaged with a child on the way. Now, you might be wondering why someone as young as Bobby was ready to start a family at the age of just 22. But according to what she told the Woman on Top podcast, well, as someone who used to work as a nanny for other people's kids, well, she's always been looking forward to having children of her own. So after starting a family together, well, Corey continued sharing his secrets on coding for a living, while Bobby, she set her sights on becoming a social media mainstay. Now, Bobby Altoff's career on TikTok it began in earnest in 2020 when she began posting comedic clips that documented her everyday real-life relationship and activities, especially as it pertained to her multiple pregnancies. Which means over on Bobby's TikTok account, well, you'll find helpful life hacks for young mothers, like say, uh, how to fix a lopsided chest as a result of breastfeeding. Oh my God. Now, Bobby and Corey, they've had two kids since getting hitched. And while I'd normally tell you those kids' names right about now, well, the truth is Bobby, she only ever refers to them under their aliases, uh, Richard and Concrete. Did I mention they're both baby girls? Yeah. Now, in case you can't tell, well, Bobby's content relies heavily on tongue-in-cheek humor, even when she's talking about something serious. She can't help but do so in the type of deadpan, unemotional cadence that makes everything sound just a little bit more ridiculous. But there's also a method to Bobby's madness, and a lot of it has to do with protecting her kids. Now, when Bobby first started making her content, well, she used to share her oldest child's face and real name online, but she quickly stopped doing that after people began making rude comments. Now, she also told the Associated Press, I kept thinking about 
about my daughter growing up to read these things, and it really upset me because I hate reading things like that about myself. Yeah, I, I, I can understand that. Now, even crazier is that when she shared her decision with her followers to stop using her daughter's real name or featuring her quite as often, well, she lost thousands of followers. She continued, a lot of people were supportive, but there were definitely a lot of people that were really strange about it. Some viewers felt they had a relationship with my daughter and wanted to keep seeing her grow. Following this decision, will Bobby remove most of the original content featuring her first daughter, Richard, from TikTok? And since then, will Richard and her little sister, Concrete, have only ever appeared on Bobby's account with their faces obscured from the camera? Then face that possibility in 25 weeks, I've decided to remove my children from my social media. Now, while Bobby's hilarious and relatable family content is what earned her reputation as one of social media's most promising new personalities, well, it wasn't until she decided to launch her very own podcast that her fame would escalate to the next level. This aspiring podcaster started her own series known as The Really Good Podcast in June of 2023. Now, her first guest was comedian and undateable star Rick Glassman, who was more or less the perfect perfect amount of sarcastic to help launch Bobby's unconventional interview style. From there, she continued to book notable guests like YouTuber Funny Marco and rapper Amari White, which have led to viral moments like when she admitted to Amari that she hadn't seen the remake of The Little Mermaid yet, despite the original being her all-time favorite film. Now, the clip of Bobby, that got a lot of attention, but it was nothing compared to what came next. Now, when Bobby Altoff interviewed the six god Drake for her new podcast series, what unfolded was pretty much the definition of the word uncomfortable. Now, not only did Bobby act like she didn't know a single thing about the dude or his music, she also conducted the entire interview with both of them sharing the same bed. Now, the full interview hasn't dropped just yet, but Bobby promises it's on its way to her YouTube channel very soon. Now, in the meantime, well, fans, they've been left wondering how the hell she even booked Drake in the first place. But for now, that'll just have to remain a mystery because she hasn't told anyone who her publicist is. Now, the interview has also been met with some controversy online after music journalist Elliot Wilson, well, he called Drake out in a since deleted social media post where he wrote i was more so clowning the comedy shenanigans with outsiders to our culture it would be great to hear drake speak to us again no other personalities like dj academics they have second that opinion but as far as bobby's concerned well her master plan is already paying off having amassed over 100,000 subscribers on youtube just a month after uploading her very first episode now will the full interview spark an even bigger interest in bobby's career or will all the attention wind up on drake like it usually does I guess we'll have to wait and see because this has been a brand new episode of Before They're Famous. Now, before I leave you, I do have a question for you guys. If you could interview just one celebrity, who would it be? Someone once asked me this and I was thinking like, huh, I'd love to meet Ed the Sock, who I've since met. But uh, someone was like, why not Drake? And I'm like, oh yeah, he's so big up there. I've never even considered it. I've interviewed a lot of stars. So I guess he knows who I am, but he won't do an interview with me. So I'll just have to check that one off. It's not going to happen. As always, be sure to let us know who to feature next on another episode of Before They're Famous. My name is Michael McCrudden. See you guys in another video. Boom!